much. And Sundar, thank you so much for making the time after so, that fantastic keynote. So great to be here. Thank you. So this is pretty much the biggest overhaul of search that we've seen in, what, two decades? This new experience will be available to over a billion users by the end of the year. Why did you wait until now? You know, in some ways, we've been evolving it continuously. The good thing about search is people comfortably use it. They take it for granted. We've been answering questions for a while. But with generative AI, we can do it a lot better. We've been testing it for a while, and we now feel it's the right moment to roll it out broadly. And feedback has been good, right, from the users? Yeah, user engagement it. has been positive. Uh, the feedback has been great. I think it makes the product much better, and so it's a great direction. What about advertisers? Because this will change the business model. In some cases, you're going to get links from a traditional search. In some cases, you're going to get a generative AI answer, which would move those links lower down on the page. Are they ready for this moment? What are you telling them about their ability to reach your users? You know, the great thing is users still value commercial information. Our ads work based on intent and quality and relevant at the right time. We've been able to test that in the context of AI overviews, and it's working well as we expected it to. So I think it'll be a you know, smooth transition, and that's what we are seeing. I think I heard Liz Reed say that it's leading to more searches, mm -hmm. but the generative AI or AI overview, as you're calling it, is it leading to more or less clicks? In, in general, we find you know, it, it's both overall increasing usage. And when we look at it year on year, we've been able to grow traffic to the ecosystem. So we are, compared to most other players, we are prioritizing you know, approaches which will uh, generate traffic as well. So we are working hard on that. Does it change the business model? How are you thinking about that? You know, I think about a year ago, people had questions on whether this would cost too much to serve. You know, we've brought down costs 80%. I don't think that would be a concern. Uh, I think the way we, we've been at work and the way we are rolling it out, you know, I, I feel like we are set up in a pretty good way and we can build on from here.